Hey folks, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about how can we extract a zip file with the help of code stage using Blue Prism Object Studio. So let's get started. I am going to create a new VBO. I am going to name it as extract zip sample. I am going to give the name. I'll finish it. Extract zip sample. It's a very short code which you can see. It's going to be approximately two to three lines and it will work most efficiently. I have just selected C sharp as my programming language and I click OK and I'll continue. And here in the action, I have just dragged and dropped on code stage. I have just given the name as extract zip zip file. Maybe I can say the name like that. And I'll be adding two parameters. One is going to be input parameter that is zip file path. So from where I just wanted to extract the zip file. I mean exactly the zip file location I can give physical path and after that I just wanted to give the destination path where exactly I just wanted to store the extracted files. So both data types are going to be text and there are no output output properties because I no need to store anything. Uh, I no need to store any uh, I mean logical objects into a specific data type as uh, it is a file simply I am storing I am just uh, taking uh, the zip file path as input and the destination path as going to be output it is going to behave both parameters I have just given here itself so I am going to start writing the code now we'll just uh, go in a bit different way uh, not like previous here what we are going to do is simply we'll write the code and we'll identify uh, some errors and we'll try to fix those errors here I'm just going to write file dot exists and I will just simply give zip file path this is the parameter that I'm going to take as input and this will verify whether the file zip file is really exist in the given folder structure or not if it was not exist simply it will get out of that place it won't go and uh, uh, start extracting the information that is available in the zip file and I have used a zip file it's a uh, inbuilt class which is available in system.io.compression.filesystem library now I'm going to create uh, I'm just going to write extract to dictionary sorry extract to directory here I'll be giving zip file path this is the source and I should give the destination so where I just wanted to extract this I have completed program this this is it that's it we are done with our program and we'll check how it is going to perform see I can see two compiler errors one is zip file does not exist in the current context means zip file is a class which I cannot identify the compiler is complaining complaining and another one is compiler error at line one the name file does not exist means these two namespaces these two classes are uh, not available in the given namespaces so I am going to add those namespaces here in the code options I am going to add system dot io so system dot io is going to give us the file class now I will validate this here I can see total three errors compiler error zip file does not exist in the current context error extract zip file missing start missing link okay uh, that is a normal uh, error so I just missed uh, giving the links so I have just given the link 
and I will refresh it. Now we can see only one error that is simply stating zip file does not exist in the current context. Now I, it is my responsibility to add the appropriate library which uh, which is part of .NET. So I am going to add system dot io dot compression dot file system actually a file system dot dll this is the original file uh, original library which will contains the zip file which is uh, helpful for extracting the zip file so in inside this i need to take the namespace compression that's it i'll click ok i'll refresh check there is there are no errors simply that means i am good to go i'll just verify whether it contains any error or errors or not as i have seen there are no errors here and i'll click ok however we didn't given any input path i have one zip file here that is located in e drive file share and sample files path i'll just copy as path and i will add it here as input by default it has just given within the braces so I will add double slash to escape the path and I just wanted to give the same name without zip uh, this is going to be my extraction path so it is going to extract inside my sample E drive file share sample file this is my destination path so I'll click OK and now it's time to run refresh it execute I will open this see you have just seen the execution is successfully completed and you can see the zip file has been extracted now I can see all the records which are available inside my zip file so from here you can identify which one is the latest record with the help of our previous video so if you have any queries you can drop a message we are very happy to help you and let us know if you are expecting more videos or maybe if you are facing any problem if you thought it can be solved with the help of blue prism code stage please let us know we are very happy to implement those solutions thanks for watching